What's going on out there, good people? And welcome back to LMD Trading, where I am living my dream trading. Hope everybody out there is doing well. I'm doing good. Sitting back down to get this daily trade recap out of the way to close out this week of March, which has been a fairly ugly week of trade. We sat down yesterday to get the trade recap out of the way and the market just tanked, just tanked. I hate that I didn't take that trade when I noticed it on the market because I would have got paid, um, but didn't do it. We'll focus on trades for today. Today, I took a trade, uh, first trade of the morning, solid trade, solid green trade, said I was done. And then I took another trade that was red, gave back some of those profits, um, ended up taking two more trades. Those two trades were small green trades. And then I was like, finito, I'm done. We're not going to give no more of this money back. And we finished the day out decent green, decent green. Reviewing trades for Friday, March 10th. Took four trades today. Closed PL, $90. First trade of the morning was on Docu. That was another one of those spready option trades. Um, but we made quick $101 on that. Said I was done because I didn't really see anything that I liked. Ended up taking a trade on Microsoft that I thought looked decent. Um, ended up stopping out on that one. And then took two trades on Tesla. I want to look at this Tesla chart real quick, seeing where I was getting in at. See if I can kind of refresh my memory on this one. Yeah, yep. I was getting in off of this candle here to push higher. And it rolled. Let's see, hold on, because let me make sure I'm looking at this right. Yep, this was a call. So getting in right here which meant I must have been getting in high because I get stopped out in this next candle. But it pushed up a little higher, came back down, and then it ripped. So, oh, that's what it was. Yeah, I got in right here, and I got out as it was coming back down, lost a dollar on this, or made a dollar, I'm sorry, made one dollar on this trade. And then the next trade I took, like, right up in here, Let's look at that one real quick. I'm only look at Docu today, I think, on the um, and think or swim. Actually, I may look at Microsoft as well. Yep, took that next trade right up in here. It didn't make the move. I was at least looking for it to push up. Looking for it at least to push up to this candle right here. It didn't. So I went on and got out. Excellent exit, and we see that this thing just pulled back down, and then it finally made the move I was looking for. I was looking to see that this trade go to 176. So when this quit pushing to 176, I got out of the trade. And like I said, that was a that was a smart exit right there. Let's go ahead. We'll look at Microsoft up in here as well. And then that way we could just focus on Docu. Microsoft. This was a put on the one minute chart. Let's switch that over. I got in on this candle here. Nope. We're not going to do that. We're going to look at that one. And oh, why did I look at my charts, y'all? The spy is doing the same exact thing to me that it did yesterday. I sat down. The spy was at a key level. I said I wasn't going to take this trade. And ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch. Let's go on over to, um, let's go to Thinkorswim. This is the spy. This is the spy, y'all. It's ugly. Open this morning up here. Broke below previous low of day. It got in this zone that I have right here. And this is where I said yesterday, I don't really color mine in because it could be a demand zone on one side or a supply zone on the other side and that's what this is actually doing see i was above it 
around 11 to around noon, came back down, retested, and it stayed in it. I sat down right here at 13.16. It's now 13.23 when I'm doing this recap. Oh, look at that. It's just bleeding when it left this little tail right there. That's money. That's money. Get four contracts. Get two contracts. It's about a 50 cent move right there. Two contracts, 25 delta. Yeah, could have made a little bit of money right there, but we didn't. It is what it is. Let's go ahead. Let's look at this Microsoft trade first. And then we'll look at the, um, then we'll look at Docu. So Microsoft, like I said, I was getting in, what time is that? About 9.50. So over here, yep. Getting in on this candle right here. Microsoft had kind of bled down, came back over to here. I didn't have, again, I don't have, I keep saying I need to save this so that it looks identical to when I'm trading. So that's what it normally looks like. The 20 moving average and the VWAP. So this came back over. I got in when it broke the low right there. Um, made this move down. I had this little tiny consolidation zone right here. And this is a um, hourly down channel as well. Peekaboo's into this zone and then reverses. When it did this, I knew the move was dead. I was just stubborn. I ended up stopping out in this candle right here as this came back up. Basically stopping me out at the top of this candle. Um, stubbornness. Stubbornness. When this came down and wicked up in here, I really kind of knew this move was dead. Uh, one thing I did want to catch, though, you always see me do options versus stocks. I'm going to highlight this candle for, for a stock trade. This would have had a 50 cent stop. My entry would have been 248.64. I would have needed this to go down to 247.64. This thing just came short of hitting 2R. So this would have went at least 1R. I could have moved my stop to break even knowing that it was going to kind of stall out right here on a stock trade. Option trade, I really wasn't paying that that much mind. And the other thing was um, it really never was in the money. I was green a little bit. That was a March 17 put I paid 62 cents for it. What is it trading at right now? 62 cents. Oh, I'm sorry. Oops. What are you talking about? I paid 74 cents. So I paid 74 cents for it. It hit a high of 78. So I was up $4. Again, wasn't really doing nothing. So this really was not a good trade. I kind of just donated um $17 to the market on that trade is what I did. Let's go ahead. Let's pull up Docu real quick. We'll take a peek at this trade. Let's see which one was it. That contract right there. I had a couple of different contracts loaded just based on what it was doing. The first contract that I had loaded, the spread was ridiculous. The spread was like 35 I just couldn't do it. So I found another put. Let's see, which one was it? Probably that one right there. The spread, see how right now the spread is nine cents, 10 cents now. And the spread on this one is only two cents. Now it's four cents. This spread still was like maybe $10. It still was fairly wicked. But let's look at this one real quick. So I'm getting in on this candle right here. Docu made this move down. I had an hourly channel and an intraday channel drawn during my pre-market. So market, 
or not the market, but Docu opens, comes down, gets this engulfing candle, and then we get this nice top and tail. This was the entry, but I couldn't take the trade because the contract that I had loaded had such a high spread. So I didn't take the trade. I went looking for another contract, found the contract that I traded. By that time, the market had pulled back. You can expect that. And then it made this move down. So I kind of chased this trade. That's why you see me getting in so late. Kind of chased it. These are old lines. I got a green line here, a green line there. These were some old lines from way back when probably when my charts were white, but look at how they held up. And let's look and see where we got out. So the first one I got out in this candle right here. What I want to see is how high up the candle. So I got out medium in the candle. Ugh. I really left quite a bit of money on the table on these trades. That one there. And then, oh man, oh man. So the high of that candle was like 80 cents. So I'm in four contracts. This thing went 80 cents. That's $40 per contract. I was up 160 bucks. Because you got to figure, if I got out way over here, I sat through both of these big moves. High that candle again, about 80 cents. And then this thing sets a high of 106. That's what, 60 cents per contract? That's $240 that could have been made on this trade. But got out of the first contract there. More so probably right there looking at it. This one here. I sat in this thing and let this come all the way back up. Probably getting out somewhere around there but made $101 on the trade. That's basically where I was kind of trying to lock in. And that was a decent trade. Like I said, seven, um, after this trade, I traded the Microsoft trade. And then I took those two Tesla trades and I was done at that point. We see how this market is doing. This is, this is an ugly market we in y'all. Look at this thing. Remember, I just said that I was looking at this up here. 387. This thing has dropped a dollar and a half. A dollar and a half. And it's just going to keep bleeding. Oh. Why didn't I pull the trigger? Because I said I'm not taking no afternoon trades. But I really should have took one right there. Because that would have got paid. But that's what we did. Let's take a peek at the um let's take a peek at the big picture real quick. Let me switch over to my main setup. Got that there. Just want to look at this weekly chart. If you remember, I said that the, the market had been in a downtrend. Now it had kind of reversed into the uptrend. I wanted to see this push back up higher. It broke the high of that candle, and this thing has just rolled over. It is in, yeah, I really should have took that trade, y'all. It's back down in this weekly down channel on good volume. We might be heading back down to 371 next week. This is ugly. What time is it? I might pull the trigger. If, if, if the spy can kind of, this is the two minute chart. The spy can make a move back up to like around here and come back down, which I don't think it's going to do. Look at it. It's just, just going lower and lower. This is not good. Not good. Not good. But on that note, we're going to wrap this recap up. Um, kind of go into the weekend with a nice green trade. I'm going to go ahead and try to get my February monthly recap out of the way this weekend. Um, it was a green month, fairly, fairly decent, fairly small. We just base hitting. If y'all have noticed, I'm just one of those ones in this market. I'm just trying to base hit my way around this market because 
The thing is, a lot of the podcasts that I listen to, uh, main, mainly on um, Investors Underground, but more so on Chat with Traders. If y'all haven't never listened to any of the podcasts on Chat with Traders, um, that's a nice, nice podcast. They interview traders from all walks of life. The one thing that they say, they being most profitable professional traders that have been around, some of them then blew up accounts and went to through two or three accounts, had to go back to work, got back in the market. The common thing is longevity. And the easiest way for us new traders, I consider myself a new trader, is to knock that size down in this type of market. And I have no problem doing that. When the market was hot and I was like dangerous and just like throwing money into the market and getting good trades, that was fine. But in this type of market, you can get tagged real quick. So I'm going to continue my base hits with the mindset of when this market turns and we get back into some good solid trends, I could step on that gas again and it'll make up for all of this downtime until I can just get fully locked in on these seasons, these seasons of the market. As a new trader, I haven't seen the seasons. Like we got four seasons in in, in a um in the like in the seasons of the year. The market has what they call stages. And there's four stages in a market. I haven't seen or traded all four stages of the market. So as my trade career progresses, I'll see more of those stages or those seasons and I'll know how to trade them. But until then, I'm going to just keep that size where I can manage. Um, if I take a loss, it's not going to hurt me. And when I take my wins, I'm going to just go ahead and put that little bit of cash in my pocket and keep it pushing. Um, and we'll keep it like that. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead, wrap this up and sit here and just watch the spy just bleed off. Y'all have a good week. If you hadn't hit that like button, please do so. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. And as always, we can continue the conversation in the comments. Peace.